I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Welcome back to another episode of Pinch of Frank. Today we're making a Tom Collins Two Ways. Chef Frank, what is a Tom Collins? Basically, it's an adult lemonade made with gin. I find myself reaching for a Tom Collins in the summer. It's clean, refreshing, and delicious. For my Tom Collins, this is what you're gonna need. Gin, simple syrup, fresh lemons, maraschino cherries, seltzer, and of course, ice. Before we make my Tom Collins, I want to talk about some of my ingredients. Gin, I prefer a nice London Dry. Beef Eater is kind of an old man gin, but I love it. It's a good standard gin to have in your liquor cabinet. Simple syrup, equal parts sugar and water brought to a boil. I always have this in my fridge in the summer. I, have, I make a quart of it at a time for lemonade and for drinks like this. Fresh lemons, do not use canned or jarred lemon juice. Buy some fresh lemons, they're super cheap. Use fresh citrus. Um, this is kind of a splurge. This is Luxardo Maraschino cherries. And these are really expensive. This is about 20 bucks. But this is just the garnish. You're not gonna use a lot of it. Um, and it does add to the drink. So if you can't get the good maraschino cherries, you can use the other ones, that's fine. But these tend to be a little bit better. Um, and then just um, sparkling water or seltzer. I'm using lemon flavor just to kind of boost that lemon flavor. You don't have to use lemon, you can use plain. But this is for my drink not yours, you can customize it however you want. Let's take a second to talk about some special equipment I have for making drinks. I like to have a small paring knife and a small cutting board, just to cut my citrus and garnishes. This I think if we got it at Ikea, it was super cheap. Have a nice paring knife. Uh, a bar spoon, which has all the swirly things. This is just to, to stir drinks. Um, a jigger or a measurer, right? If you don't have one of these, you can always just have a measuring cup, two ounces, one ounce. I have a citrus juicer or squeezer. You gotta squeeze your own citrus. And then I have some bamboo skewers for garnishes. Do you have to have this stuff? No, but I like to have it so that my drinks are consistent and I can enjoy them. They're not too sweet, they're not too sour, they're consistent every single time. Last thing I wanna talk about is the glass. Traditionally, a Tom Collins has a tall, skinny glass. I like to use goblets. These goblets, I get it in my local restaurant supply store. Uh, I think they're for red wine, but I just love these. I think these are a little more tactile when you're drinking from it, it's a little more fun, it's a little more festive than a tall, skinny glass. So I'm gonna use my goblets. Time to make the drink. First thing I'm gonna do is cut my lemons, right? I'm gonna cut the lemon in half and then I'm gonna just cut a wheel, right? And this wheel is going to be my garnish, okay? I'm gonna take one of my maraschino cherries. I'm gonna just put it on top of that lemon and that'll be our garnish for later. Now, I'm gonna get my lemon squeezer, put my lemon in here and squeeze out one ounce of lemon juice. So one ounce of fresh lemon juice into the glass. All right, two ounces of gin. Make sure you get it everywhere. <laughs> of course I got it everywhere, right? And then uh, one ounce of the simple syrup. Uh, now I'm gonna take some ice. I'm gonna put this on top of my drink. Lots of ice, don't be afraid to put a fair amount of ice, leave a little room on top, and then I'm going to just stir my drink together. Make sure it's stirred well and it's chilled. And then I'm gonna just take a little bit of seltzer and top it off. We don't make small drinks in my house. We just don't do it that way. Top it off a little seltzer, give it a quick stir, and then we will get our garnish my lemon slice, and that is a Tom Collins. So it's my favorite time, time to taste. This I know is a lovely cocktail, let's see how I did. Mm. Crisp, refreshing, not too sweet. It hits the spot on a hot summer day. The second version of the Tom Collins is using my homemade limoncello that I made with my buddy Rob. I'm gonna link the video right up here uh, instead of the simple syrup. And this makes it extra lemony and delicious. So again, we start out with fresh lemon juice, one ounce. Again, squeeze your own citrus. Huh? 
in your glass. I am going to put one ounce of homemade limoncello instead of simple syrup. Two ounces of my old man gin. Right? I'm gonna to top it with some ice. Okay, give it a stir. And then a nice little floater of some seltzer. A little stir. And then our same garnish, cherry and lemon slice. All right, let's give it a taste. Limoncello. It adds a little more depth. The limoncello has a little more of a lemony bite to it. it has a little alcohol in it, so it's a little stronger. But if you want to up your Tom Collins game, make your own limoncello and put it in your drink. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We have merch in the description down below. We also have a P.O. box down there. Uh, I want to thank our Patreon patrons for supporting us. And that is my Tom Collins, two ways. I'm Chef Frank. This is Proto Cooks. Have a good one.